this is my first time trying corn on how to make it. So, shut! So, sorry. So, the materials that you're going to need, need are razor blade or knife. Something to bake your sauce and your corn on, which I just have like a little picture that is really old. And actually, it wasn't mine. Well, it was mine. Yeah. Like, but it's not my family. Let me just say. The green ninja and, anyway, I'm not really going to say that, but it was my friend's picture, and I asked her if I could have it, like, my mom's friends, and she was like, yeah, because I don't want them, so I just used it. And, you're going to need yellow clay, um, yellow paint, translucent, I mean, liquid sculpey, I mean, liquid clay, yeah. whatever you want to say. So first, we're going to make the little coil. Take your yellow clay. It's okay if your clay is like a little bit dirty. It's how my clay always is. Because corn is not perfectly yellow. Take and roll that out. I'm trying to roll it really fast here. I said, you're just going to roll it out. Really thin. In the coil. Many people call it snake, but it's actually like a coil. Like, if you didn't learn that in school, like, if you would call it a line, I wouldn't because it's cylinder. And the line is like straight. This is like cylinder. But anyway, they told us to just play that in school. Yeah. So. Alright, so then. After you have that. Uh, anyway, I keep. Oh! After you have that, pretty much what you're going to do, take whatever you're going to use, put your liquid sculpey and your paint on, you're going to take that, oh and you're going to need something to stir it with, I'm going to go get that. Okay, so I got a toothpick. What you're gonna do is basically pour out. The corn doesn't have that much syrup, so. Well, like, whatever you wanna call it. But that's actually, I think, too much. Anyway, then, kind of stir that a little bit. Make it all bundle. Then take your yellow paint or no polish and open it and make it get ready. Then take your blade and your little coil and take it, cut little tiny pieces and put it in your liquid clay or corn, I mean, or glue if you have modeling clay or air dry. So I'm using blue because I have modeling and air draw. And you can make even like a little bit of translucent in the yellow. And I put mostly three at a time. 
It's pretty much a habit. I cut them three at a time. Okay, so then you're going to take your paint, after you have enough. I don't have any friends, too! Whoa! Well, that came out pretty fast. And I'm going to take it, get most of it, and stir it. And I'm going to slot it over here because I don't want all that yellow in Because then it won't look right because, it, yeah, it just, it won't look right. I don't know why. But I've tried that before and it won't look right. And this method is almost like my cherries and my blueberries. But instead, it shouldn't have that much juice in it. Like, maybe about that good. But my blueberries, it wouldn't have that much. <laughs> sorry, my little brothers. So sorry. But yeah. If you have enough that you think is good, like the paint, keep stirring that so there is no more clear or white, because the glue is white. So. Mm okay. And you're going to use school glue if you have a modern so not hot glue or crazy glue or none of that crazy stuff. Keep cutting some. Be quiet! what I was doing. Okay. How to wipe that off. Pretty much after you ha keep putting some in there, you're going to keep cutting. Nothing more terrifying. 
And these are for Barbies, but they also can be for dollhouse. If you have dollhouse, like if you put like dollhouse instead of Barbie, so they are basically for Barbie. I'm pretty sure you probably won't want to make corn for a charm, you know? That'd be kind of strange. And you don't want your coil to be thin, you're going to want it to be pretty thick, like, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it really, but not too thin, not too thick. But then, after you have enough, you're going to take it and put them on a plate, but then you're just going to be bored out watching me. Do this, so go ahead. Well, don't put them on your plate unless it's metal or like glass if you're working with farmer clay. But if you're working with farmer clay, put it on a plate that is glass or metal, then bake it. And yeah, that's how you do that. So, thank you guys for watching.